Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back. This is episode 11 of the Dream Team. Obviously, you can see by the title what team we're doing, and it's my most hated, uh, most hated players. And I think hate's probably a strong word. It probably doesn't resemble uh, how I feel about the players, but it kind of made the most sense for a team. And you know, it's the easiest way to just think. Like, if I say my most disliked, it doesn't really like people be like, uh, oh, really, most disliked. But maybe I can go most disliked, who knows. But I, I think I'll stick with most hated. Even though I don't particularly hate all these players, just a strong dislike. So I probably should have wrote most disliked, but we're not going to do that. So, you've got my dream team coming up here. Same as usual. I still don't don't know why I haven't put um, Guerra back in the side. You can see he's number 12, Tony Williams number 16. Um, yeah, I just haven't done it. So we're going to get into the side um, of my most hated team and you find a lot of these guys um, kind of explain themselves if you understand if you've watched my channel you understand why I don't like him so but there's a lot of people who probably haven't so let's get into it at fullback we have Billy Slater now I had him in, the, in my grub side and I explained my feelings on him there and I had some people say like um, how, do, how do you have Billy Slater in your most hated side oh sorry in your grubby side and it's like really doesn't it explain itself really like, the dude um, comes in, slides in with his legs, he did that, they um, had to like change the rules about that, didn't they, because of him. Um, it's part of the storm setup, so they do lots of like wrestling tactics, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, oh my hell, go to um, Eastwood. Um, he kicks players in the face, like I particularly don't like him because, you know, he did it to the Bulldogs player. Um, Clamour it was. Get to it. Yeah, B-Moz. Good try. Great try. It was, actually. Run up on the fifth tackle. It's a risk, but risk that paid off. So, yeah, like Slater, he slides in, kicks play plays in the face. Just like, um, does little grubby things. Like, I think he stomped on a dude's head um, when he first started playing. Just shit like that. Does little things where he rubs his hand into players' faces. Stupid things like that. Especially when he plays at Queensland. He becomes, like, super grub then. And um, grand finals, all those sort of games. Then we move on to the wing position, and I was struggling to find players, and I remembered a player uh, just before I started, but I've decided to leave it how it is, and I picked Tamar Tahu there at first, and I can't particularly say why I dislike him that much, but I don't know, he always comes off as angry, and um, I just don't like him, how he handles things. Um, yeah. Although, I think, the way Andrew Johns, um, that whole thing, I think that was shocking what Johns did. So, I, I agree with him doing that, um, walking out in New South Wales and all that, but... Um, just overall, I think Tahu, a little bit of an angry player. Um, don't particularly like him. I mean, I don't particularly hate him, I don't think. But I was just looking for a player I could fit in there. And I think, now that I think about it, uh, Brent Tate would have been a better pick. I always hate Brent Tate. Um, whenever he gets the ball, I always just want him to get smashed. Not injury, not an injury. Because, you know, you don't want to see players get injured. But um, Brent Tate, just, he's another one like Tahu. just always seems angry. And seeing like Tate, like he punched um, Gallon or Bird, whoever it was, on the ground. Just dog shot. So he probably would have fit in a lot better. So my actual most hated side would probably have um, uh, Brent Tate. But we've got Tahu in here instead. And then we go to the centers. We've got Steve Maddai and Justin Hodges. Now, I don't really hate... Matter, but there's not really any other centers that I hate. So Matter was the closest to it. Um, yeah, so that's why we picked Steve Matter. Um, but he does have a lot of like dog shots in his game, that sort of stuff. But I really like his toughness. So um, it's hard to just think whether I actually hate him or not. But are there others? Like if I had to put in a list, he'd be second uh, in the t in the most hated. Um, oh, we should have that away. Go over the sideline. Yeah, Benny Barber, get owned. Well, he didn't even get owned. Come on, Thurston. Probably should have passed it off to Tompkins there. Uh, yeah, so Hodges is the other centre. Obvious reasons. Um, he's a Queenslander. Um, what else? I suppose I could put Inglis there. I don't really like Inglis too much, but whatever. Try for Cameron Smith. Yeah, so Hodges. He's another dog shot artist. Um, I really didn't like how... I can't remember if it was a New South Wales game or if it's a Dragons game. And I'm not a Dragons supporter, but I like Morris Lads. And uh, Brett went down with an injury to his knee. And he's sitting there holding his knee in pain. You can see he's in pain. And he hasn't moved. He's just laying on the ground there, like 40 metres away. And Hodge just sprints in, just comes in and just shoulder charges him while he's on the ground, just laying there. Just a, like a scum move. And Hodge is always trying to pick fights with players. 
um, his state of origin, all that sort of stuff. And I wish, like, I wish someone could just lay one on him. I wish the punches rules were gone, so they could just like punch him. Um, but overall, he's a really good player, and you got to respect him for being a good player. But he just seems to have a lot of scammy little things in his game, and that's why I don't really like him too much. Um, yeah, well, man, I just um, make sure you leave in the comments who are uh, your most disliked players or most hated. Depends how you want to feel about it. I mean, you, both dislikes probably the better one, but I'm going to call it most hated. So we move on to the wing spot, and there was, like I said before, it's the same in the centres. There aren't too many wingers that I particularly dislike. Obviously, Brent Tate was one I could name, which I didn't put in the side for some reason, but yeah, I mean, Mitch Brown maybe for the Bulldogs. I don't really like him. Gonna run it. No, we're not. Uh, yeah, Ben Barber is the wing spot. See him here. Hopefully, you can smack him. No, he lets it go out. Guess good move for him. Now, obvious reasons, Bulldog supporter, you understand why. You understand why Sonny Bill's in the side as well, so. Um, yeah, Barber. Just, you can't like him if he was a Bulldog supporter. And we get really lucky here. That should have been a knock on, but we're going to take it. 16 0. Demolition here, and I'm really happy we're beating this side, especially after losing the last few. Um, yeah, Barber. Just a dickhead. Now, I don't. I can't say for sure that he bashed his girlfriend, because. You know, no, no actual proof, no, pre no charges pressed or anything. But you know, just the way he left the Bulldogs left a really sour taste in my mouth about Barber. So yeah, just really don't like him. And I'd really love nothing more than the Bulldogs to just destroy him every chance they get. But they don't seem to do it. I don't know why. Maybe they just, maybe they don't hate him. I don't know. But I'm kind of happy that he's had a really bad season at the Broncos. Um, makes you feel a lot better about losing him. It's hard to go from 2012 form of Barber then to lose him, but thankfully he's not producing any of that form at all. Um, yeah, so we got lucky there, I think. Oh, nice little play there. Maybe we can snag another try before half time. Who knows? Gonna go out to Johnson. Um, so while we're doing that, we'll go to the halves, and that is Cam Peasy and Jamie Soud. Now, the reason for um, Cam Peasy being in there. I really don't appreciate the way, well, I don't know why I said appreciate it, because it doesn't affect me, but really don't like the way he went about um, getting the coach sacked last year, um, and then he got Ricky Stewart to replace him. Well, wow, good job, Cam Peasy. But, yeah, I just really don't like how um, they went about it, especially him, him being like one of the senior players in the side, and they said it was the senior players, and how many senior players are actually in camera side, like Shillington, him, Lero Lars, and... Like Brett White, maybe? Is, it, is, that it? is that it? Maybe include Fensum in there? Like, there's not many, and I say Campisi was the ringleader, and he just, for someone who's supposed to be like this big senior player, he plays so many shit games lately. Um, and he probably should retire, but he just won't retire. And now he's going to sit in reserve grade next year. So, yeah, I don't really like Campisi. I never used to hate him. Like, probably not even a hatred, I just don't like him. Then we move on to halfback, which is Soward, and I particularly don't like him. And it all stands back to one issue. I mean, off-field and stuff, he's a bit of a winger, but that's not why. It's his on-field thing. Uh, in 2009, I know it's a long time ago, but him um, pretending to, like, pretty much um, acting there. They all say about players, like, staying down and all that sort of stuff. What about players pretending to, like, um, be obstructed when a player wasn't even involved in it? And Saab was the man. Luke Patton ran past him set up a match winner against the Dragons, which cost us the minor premiership. They, they submitted that they stuffed up. Um, but yeah, I was livid when that happened, and I blame it on Soward. And the refs. But Soward. So yeah, that's hit the reason for him being there. Dylan Napper. And then we score another try with uh, Cameron Smith. Dylan Napper at prop, and then we've got Tim Menor. Start off with Napper. Um, him shoulder charging James Graham in the head, and he just has a tendency to keep trying to dog shot people, and I really don't like it. Um, yeah, that's the reason he's in there. Move on to Tim Manor. And, it, I mean, there's nothing he's really done. I feel bad about his brother dying and all that, but, um, I don't know, just something about Tim Manor I just don't like. I think, I think it's he gets overhyped a lot. He should be in my overrated side, probably. Um, I think he doesn't really offer too much to the Eels, but he's, they seem to think he's their best prop, and, well, all power to them. Well, more power to them, I should say. But, whatever. That he, he's in the, um, he's in my most hated side. Um, there's not really too many other props I dislike. I mean, maybe New Asala or someone, I don't know. What the hell? I don't think I pressed pass there with Thurston. Whatever, so we're going to hook position at Robbie Farrar. Really don't like 
the way the coach thing's been handled. I mean, it is debatable whether he's actually doing it, but the whole thing for years has been him and Benji getting players sacked, and really don't like that when players constantly do that sort of shit, and he just seems like a little angry dude. Now, I understand he's had some troubles, but everybody's had some troubles. Doesn't mean you need to be a dickhead all the time, and just what he seems to be. Uh, and then we move on to the second rowers, Hoffman, Sam Burgess, and then we got the lock, Sonny Bill Williams. Now, we'll start off with Hoffman. I don't know, he just seems like a bit of a sook a little bit. I mean, it is harsh, what I'm saying. Um, he's a good player. But, yeah, I just I just don't like him. Just seems like a sook, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Hoffman. I just can't really explain why I don't like him. I just don't like him, and he's one of the players I dislike the, um, the most out of all these guys, and there's no real reason for it. Um, he's probably a good dude off the field, but, yeah, I don't know. Then we've got Sam Burgess, obvious reasons, he is a bit of a dog on the field, um, grabbing people's balls, all that sort of stuff, but it's more the way the media handles him, like, I just, I just hate seeing stuff in the papers about him, and whenever there's a Channel 9 game, they have got his dick so far down their throat, like, it's not even funny, it's so annoying, and that goes the same for Sonny Bill, but, um, Sonny Bill is a little bit worse than that, because, um, the way he left the Bulldogs, that's just awful how he left, like, I could handle it better if he, he waited to the end of the season, and um, decided I want to leave, he'd probably be in the barber category. I wouldn't like him, but, um, you know, whatever. In a few years' time, I'll get over it. Where with um, Sonny Bill, he's having a worse season, all the injuries, and then he leaves and we get flogged every game after that. It just really sucked as a Bulldog supporter. Thankfully, we rebounded from that. He's gone on to, you know, play for the All Blacks and you know, have a really successful career. But he was always going to have a success, successful career, let's be honest. I was trying to pass it out to Red Raja, couldn't get there, whatever. Not going to affect our victory here. And then we move on to the bench. We have George Burgess, Ben Hennett, Maria Hargraves, and Kirk Lee. Start off with George Burgess. He falls into the same sort of category with Sam Burgess. Just the way, it seems like we get force fed um, with how good the Burgess are by Channel 9 and all that. Um... Yeah, like, it's just by association, I think, if his name was, you know, George Smith or something, um, you know, people would say he's a good player, but that'd be it. I don't think people would be, um, saying he's, like, the best thing ever, best English player, all that sort of stuff. Not that they are saying that about George, but, um, I don't know, just feels like he gets shoved down our throats, and it's kind of by association that I don't like him. Um, I don't really like the other brothers either, because, you know, they're Sam Burgess brothers. And I really don't like how they get their mum on screen all the time. I really, like, I understand that your mum's at the game and stuff, but why do Channel 9 need to keep showing every time, every time there's a try score or something, they have to show up in the box with Russell Crowe. Like, for God's sake, just stop. So, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of this isn't through, like, I don't think George Burgess particularly is as scummy as, like, Sam. Like, he doesn't really do any dog shots or anything that I can think of at this stage. But, yeah, that's just the reason. Just pretty much Channel 9, sole reason of him being in there. Move on to Ben Hennett, and yeah, it's another one with the Bulldogs. Um, I was, couldn't really think of any other players that I didn't really like, but Ben Hennett certainly fits it. Um, it's more like whenever I see Ben Hennett on the ball, I say, oh, please smash him. He just, yeah, he just seems like a bit of a sook as well. Um, good player, but he's gone downhill since leaving the Bulldogs, for sure. Um, well, that was a bad tackle. But yeah, overall, just a bit annoyed at how he left the Bulldogs. He played one good season, and then I decides, oh, well, now I can go back to the Broncos. They want me again. Let's leave. That's how it felt like. Broncos didn't particularly want him, and Bulldogs took him. And, yeah, he went straight back at the first chance he got. And then Kirk Gidley, probably on a lot of play, um, people's thing. He just seems like a whinger and very overrated, and I don't like him because of his New South Wales stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're coming to the end of the episode. We won 30 nil, probably our biggest win so far. I mean, I can't say for sure. Can't say for sure, but um, yeah, probably our biggest win so far. I'd like to think our most impressive. And it's against the most hated, so um, probably fits in well there. So I'd like to say, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And make sure you leave in the comments um, who are your most hated players in the NRL, maybe even Super League. I know someone, I know uh, Super League reviews probably say Gareth Hock, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's my prediction. Uh, so I'll see you for the next episode, guys. I'm not sure who it's against, but yeah, episode 11 or 12, one of them. 12, I think. So I'll see you then, guys. Bye.